the eyes of the world have been glued to the city of Haran for the past two months, following the outbreak of a previously unknown pathogen. It is not yet clear what has caused this gruesome affliction. The local government's Ministry of Defense erected a quarantine wall shortly after the outbreak. The global relief effort's steady stream of supply drops has sustained what few survivors remain in the city. The Ministry of Defense believes more radical action should be taken to stem the tide of this virus. The question is, are there still non-infected survivors in the city as the GRE maintains? And if so, will the ministry still go through with a stated plan to annihilate the city in an attempt to wipe out the Haran virus once and for all? Whether by way of the virus or the ministry's proposed plan, one thing is certain. Haran's days are numbered. Oh, hey everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Liam today, along with... PSM First Meter Kier at your service. And welcome to Showcase Sunday number 85, where, well, we will be showing off some four to six games. Uh, I have eight prepared for the absolute worst case, but it probably doesn't come to that. And yeah, we'll, we'll give each about half an hour each. I have a timer set for 25 minutes. Uh, <clears throat> If we like a game, we'll just get it to the next point. If we don't, uh, we can just drop it when the timer goes off, or even earlier. And yeah, the first game that we're starting with is Dying Light, of which the, <clears throat> the sequel is now out, and apparently at 50% off. I have heard mixed things about Dying Light 2. Uh, 
So I'm probably going to wait until there's a bigger discount than 50% to try it myself. Yep, wrong button. Yeah. <laughs> we need to press the new game start because this is a first impressions thing, not to... Yeah, <laughs> not to continue where I've been after like 10, 20 hours. Okay, so just let it load. This game does have co-op and I'm thinking we... Uh, I'm thinking if Ram and Liz and maybe someone else are up for it, they uh, can join us for multiplayer with this game at some point. Uh, they will mostly focus on the story, which can be done solo. Okay, space. Right. And yeah, we'll have to start it anew. Okay, uh, quit. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Play. Campaign. And... Yeah, let's see. A new game. Let's see F. Uh, we can name it. New game from Quest. Um, okay, I guess that means jumping in from a certain point. In case you want to well, skip the pre-start or something. Uh, let's see. We have story mode. Okay. I don't think that was there. One thing that I, uh, I do like this game, but one thing that I do dislike about it is that... The zombies can be quite, uh, quite tough for what they are. So, so let's try out story modes, because that is what we usually play games for. Or we stream these games for the story mostly. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. For those who want to focus on the story and exploration without worrying too much about survival, you're stronger and tougher. The infected pose less of a threat, and nights are shorter. Enjoy your stay in Haran. Uh, let's for now, yeah. And start the timer. HUD activated. Commence briefing. Approaching Iran. Data on the subject. Kadir Suleiman. A local political figure hired to maintain order after the outbreak. His brother Hassan died in a disease-related incident before we were able to evacuate him. Suleiman blamed the GRE for Hassan's death. He stole a highly sensitive file which became his bargaining chip against the GRE, with instructions to publicize it if anything happened to him. Data on the subject, the stolen file. In 10 seconds. It details the incomplete process of synthesizing a cure for the virus. If implemented in its current state, the produced substance may be extremely toxic. Now. Also, the file contains full description of the virion structure. Any attempt to use it would result in countless lives lost. It must be recovered. Further information, current status. Suleiman sent the file to an associate unknown to us with instructions to publicize it at his command at any time. To counter that, we instituted a citywide communication jam, preventing him from publicizing the file. Your GRE issued radio can overcome that jamming. It is your lifeline. Do not lose it. Suleiman has since gone underground and begun using a different name. We have reason to believe he now leads one of the two main factions operating within the city. You are to find Suleiman and locate the stolen file in order to save mankind from a disaster of unprecedented proportions. Quite a rapid descent. Again, I've never been parachuting, so I don't know if that was quick or if not. It, but that's uh. bad all the same. I just realized. I told you that wasn't a normal drop shoot. Break his legs. Yep. Then take him to rides. Back up! All of you! Stop! Loud noises draw them. Fall back! Fall back! Oh, that's no good. Yeah, uh... Ilyam, I just realized something. Get it 
Doctor, this is Jade. Get sick bay ready. Got a guy with a bad head wound and a bite on one arm. Oh shit, Amir's hurt? No. Amir is gone. But I'm bringing in someone who might still survive. One of us? We'll see. Well, that could have had gone any worse. Yeah. In the end, this is going to be over, but we already done a review of this. Okay, I'm... Hmm. I thought... Let me double check. Because I keep a list of the games that I have and haven't tried. And I'm pretty sure it is not marked as being shown. Uh, let's see. D... Yeah, Dying yeah, Light is uh, not marked as having been shown with this. Huh. But I'm pretty sure we have. For I remember we playing this and I had... Uh, I developed back then. We had a, I had a wound starter issue with Discord. Okay. And this was one of those games. Hmm. Well, at least we can show it now without the stuttering for you. Him. You're scared. I'm not scared. Then pinch him. He blinked. What? He blinked again. What if he's a zombie? Ah! Zombie! Run! <sighs> or at least I hope it doesn't have the blinking issue at the moment. It doesn't have any issues. It's swimming normally. Okay, I can at least give a better showcase of the game then for you. Just Another thing about it, I think we have shown this game before, but I'm not sure if that was on Showcase Sunday or not. Hmm. Well, it was only one of the older names you had for it. You sleep for three days like a dead man and scare children? Off to a great start, Tony. Where am I? In paradise, can't you see? Okay, enough joking around. Head to room 190. The boss will brief you. What do you mean, 31? Ask the boss. Okay. Well, if we did showcase it, then we'll That's just... Your number. Okay. Then we'll just uh, show it off again, because it is a good game. Excuse me? Your number. You're the 31st infected. I'm the 18th. Everything is counted here. One fewer doses of antizen. One more new infected. One more runner gone. 31 infected. And yeah, unlike in a lot of zombie games, we are not immune. Quiet. Oh, fuck quiet. Now he's gonna get Amir's antizen. Hey, where's room 190? Upstairs. Okay, rude. We're just getting picked off one by one. Okay. Headquarters 190 and stuff there. I'm looking for the boss. Is he in there? Oh, you're 31. Go on in. Okay. Well, so much for the boss being here, apparently. Hey, I'm looking for the... Are you the boss? What, am I too young? You got the problem with my age? No, I... You wanted to talk to me? That's better. Do you remember anything? Know what you are? Yeah, I can, I can see this is some kind of shelter. We call it the Tower. Brecken and his runners put it all together a couple of months ago, and we've been here ever since. Hunting airdrops, scavenging, and rescuing people. Yeah, I, I wanted to thank that girl. Good, because if not for her, you'd already be chewing somebody's knee bone. Your antizen was totally crushed, by the way. Only thing Jade could salvage was your radio. Oh, great. So can I get that back, please? Actually, I think I need it more than you do. Believe me, pal, that's not the case. Fine. Take it. You know why runners put their lives in danger? For guys like you. So now you take the antizen meant for someone else, and you won't even share your gear with us? I don't have time to deal with your bullshit. I've lost contact with one of our guys thanks to the fucked up radios we're stuck with. 
do something for me, would you? I don't want to see you or your precious radio anymore. So go be useful somewhere else. We don't tolerate lazy assholes here in the tower. Hey, be fair. I'm not, I'm not lazy. I'm just, hey, boss. Save it. That last guy I mentioned, he's only on the 13th floor, but he might as well be trapped in a mine cave -in. Come back later. And I'm not the boss. Too young, remember? I'm Rahim. Brecken's in charge here. Yeah. Okay. I'm not lazy, you little shit. <laughs> Let's see. Check for the survivor on the floor. The 13th floor. For that, we need to head to the elevators. <clears throat> yeah, I think. Uh. I think when we did last showcase this, we didn't actually get out of the tower, I think. So let's try and get at least that. So, yeah, for me, uh, I think we had some technical difficulties. Yeah. Let's try and get at least out so we can show some more gameplay than just walking around here and such. And yeah, we did not that was, need to I go don't, down. I don't like the goggle guy for... It felt, it's not like he tried to do too much guilt tripping. Uh, well, we are wasting resources at the moment. Just being yeah. a drain. It's, we could be u being useful. And uh, resources are very, very Where limited. The 13th floor. I'm getting some stuff for Raheem. 13? Shit. That's gonna be some dirty work. But we all got to pull our weight around here, huh? Okay. <laughs> he, was, he was watching. <laughs> <clears throat> He was watching the wrong direction there. Hmm. Kind of lucky that the elevators are still operative, you know, operating after Jesus. well. How many people died here? Yeah, that splatter can't mean anything good. Crane here. Where were you? We've been waiting for your report. It's been over 70 hours. I lost my radio for a while. Don't worry, my cover's intact. No contact with the tower's leader yet. Unable to confirm identity. I'm taking steps to blend in. Acknowledged. Time is of the essence, Crane. Remember that. There's, there's one more thing. I, I got bitten. I've shown no symptoms, but the people here say I'm infected. Then you'd better get your hands on some antisem ASAP, no! hadn't you? Help! Somebody! What the hell? Hello, there, Glacier Boy. Hello, Glacier Boy. You doing well today? Yep. I cut my arm getting away from him. Oh, God. You had to kill him, didn't you? God damn it! That was... That was my brother. I came down to see him and... Easy, easy. It's all right now. I'll, I'll get help. Hey, Raheem, this is Crane. I'm down here on 13. Listen, this guy of yours got fucked up pretty bad getting away from a zombie. Oh, shit. 31? You went after Mark? Is it... Is it safe down there? Yeah, well, it's safe enough now. Okay, don't move. I'm sending Lena downstairs. Now he has a better tone. Yeah, now we're actually being useful and such. Hey, hold still. Lena will be here any minute. Goss. You've got to find some goss. Oh, and alcohol. Combine them. That will stop the bleeding. Please hurry. I try to stay calm, okay? I'll be right back. Yeah, good to hear, Glacier Boy. You're doing better than him, probably. Uh, <laughs> flashlight. Alcohol and gauze, alcohol and gauze. I don't think that'll work. Ew, what the fuck happened here? Okay, uh. Locked. Yeah, welcome to Showcase uh, Sunday, where, yeah, we're showing off dying lights again. Quotations. I remember streaming a bit of this game, but. Yeah. <laughs> Back then we had some technical difficulties. Oh, did I hear some? 
Yeah, back then, Discord had some issues which met, led to, to... He didn't stream me the OBS like this directly, like you see all the OBS thingies. Just the game directly through Discord. This worked fine on some days and other times. It was weird. And back then we did this, it was weird. Like, it uh, kept going back like well, up as half a six second yeah, forward and backward uh, several times. Yeah, it's, it's luckily so another... far it doesn't seem to. Yeah. Again, it was over a year ago, so I think uh, this would have fixed it by then. But yeah, it was rather nauseating to observe from my... Uh, let's see. Blueprints. And we can that make a medkit from the alcohol and the gauze. And there we go. Lubrication time. Really? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a deep wound. That's okay, going to be hurt? bleeding for a while. Pretty bad. Let me see him. Gauze and alcohol, huh? Pretty primitive, but it'll work. Yeah, he's going pale. Thanks for the help. I'll take care of him from here. No, that that did look a bit more like a bite than a, more anything else to, to me. Well done, thirty-one. Okay, hey, let's head up to him. Not bad for a new guy. Perhaps I misjudged you. I just want to help out and repay you guys for what you did for me. Well, good. Come find me, and we'll talk about how you can do that. Hmm. Actually, now that I think about it, yeah, we'll, we'll be stuck with a tutorial for quite a bit, I think. But at least we'll see that uh, things do run better now. So maybe I should have started from a certain point in the story. But oh well, little we can do about it now. All right, taken care of. Piece of cake. What else you got for me? Well, let me think. Rahim, you are just smart enough to be dangerous, you know that? Omar told me about your plans for the nest. Explosive charges? Really? What? Explosives? Oh, I never please. Said that. You can't tell a convincing lie to save your life. I know what I'm doing. Yeah? You think you can't die? You're not my mom. No, I'm not. Our mom's dead. So you might want to be a little nicer to me since I'm the only family you have left. Especially now that Amir is gone. You're Jade, right? Right. I just wanted to thank you for what you did for me and, and tell you how sorry I am for your loss. I owe you and Amir my life. Yeah, you do. You want to return the favor? Keep my dipshit brother from killing himself. No explosives, Rahim. So... So, is that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. Okay. Uh, yeah, this this game... Okay, I thought he was going to pipe up again. This game could be seen as a, a sequel to Dead Islands, which now actually does have its own freaking sequel. Hello. Um, Hello, Rom! Hey, Rom. You doing well? Yeah, I'm doing fine. So, okay. how's Dying Light? It's working I'm... better than last time that we tried to uh, stream it. Uh, yeah. New clothes. Huh, I'm guessing you're not playing the version with all the DLC. Uh, I think okay, I Rahim, do I'm have ready. those. What do I find I think... Not so fast, 31. No, you... If you're going to earn um, your keep, my brother bought, like, the one that the also comes with the following. So the gym. It's on the yeah, but I do have the following and such. So I think it's they're just yeah, disabled no, I mean. for the tutorial. Uh, no, I actually... No, like well, I computer. think they might be. I can't remember. I, it's been a while since I played Dying Light. Also, weird thing to note. You don't get four-player co-op until, like, after... Raheem, I don't see you. Where are you? After a fair oh, bit, and then at the finale, you don't even get to be four-player co-op. Okay. Everything else is four... 
everything else allows you to play the game with four people. Okay. The following is the same, actually. Well, it starts out with you having four players, allowing you to, you know, have four people, but ends with just being single player. Okay, so we could do this as a group, but yeah, the start and end will be limited with it. Pretty much, we'd basically just like do most of it as a group, and then the finale would pretty much just be watching you try to go through it. Yeah. Okay, we've got enough games to go through at the moment though with Borderlands, and well, Liz needs to get stable internet again. That's true. Welcome to our gym. First things mm. first. You've got Close to learn how to Halo. run. What do you mean, learn how to run? Since MCC has like... Okay, so the first and second game are two-player co-op. Third game... And... From the third game oh, onwards is Holy when four-player co-op was implemented. It's a rush, isn't it? But don't blow your load just yet. I kind of figured more. we could do those I've got some typical situations. Borderlands, maybe. Um, Sometimes it's better to crawl through the low narrow passages. Well, we'll see. Would be a pretty fun game if you want to just basically play a Left 4 Dead clone with more guns. Uh, which one? Uh, World War C. Okay, we could give that a try as well at some point. Hey, did you ever get around to like, getting Deus Ex to work? Not bad. No, I haven't tried to get it to work yet. Uh, it it probably could get it to work, but it would require quite a lot of tinkering. I still don't know why it just didn't work after it did previously. Maybe you could just probably videos about that somewhere. I know people can stream like Deus Ex. I know I've seen a guy who made a review of it. Apparently streamed it. Okay. So I know it is possible, but eh, who knows? Maybe you just have to look up a tutorial for it. Maybe, it yeah. It could be that it's because of the hmm, okay. windowed mode of just refusing to work. Get back to the crane. Yeah, that's probably, yeah. yeah that's, that's, that's not really hard. Um, Hey, did you know that there's a mod for Deus Ex to play a female <laughs> JC then? Okay, didn't know, but I should have expected it, I guess. <laughs> because there's always mods like that. Yeah. Uh, if you play uh, Deus Ex Revision, the mod from like, that was added on Steam during the entire original game, you can actually have the option okay, to play enough. as Lady Dent. You've some serious natural talent, man. Okay. Either that, or you've done this before. And you well, let's just say she matches the original Hardly. voice actor in the closest quality. I ever came to this was running track in high school. <laughs> well, then you're a fucking Never prodigy. Seen Never seen anything like it. Right, this doesn't seem mm. Okay, let's just get up and over. Oh yeah, we could give that a we could give that a try as well if we can get it to work. Okay. I've also beaten Human Revolution, believe it or not. Okay. What? It, what is happening to me? And, and you're having the world's worst feature because you're now on top of a crane. Something and, went wrong. You know. Light in it, so that's not what really good to, to, to be on. Yeah, crane on a crane whilst his head is <laughs> going up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I said earlier that uh, this is one of the rare zombie games where you're not immune. Uh, yeah, we're going to need to get our hands on Anderson every so often. A bit like Far Cry 2's uh, Malaria effects. Dead Rising. Dead Rising from yeah, the Dead second. Rising 2 as well. Raheem, what the yeah, fuck Dead Rising was that? 2... No, Dead Rising this 2 has co-op as well as Off the Record. No. And Dead Rising At 3 least not has co-op as well, but reminds you that they're two-player co-op. You better go see Dr. Zera, though. He'll check you out, probably give you a shot of Antizen. Before you head out to see Zera, talk to the Quartermaster. He'll uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. 
Wouldn't it be a better idea to see the doctor first to ensure that we're not turning and then get our gear? Anyway. I mean, it would, but, you know, tutorial logic. Yeah. Uh, luckily, they're both downstairs, so let's head there. But yeah, we could probably start making a list of all the... <clears throat> Of all the co-op games we could stream eventually, but for the time, right. I think we'll be busy job. enough with the Borderlands. And nobody suspects I'm not who I say I am. And with how much so far, time so good. My once Doctor Zero my helps me manage these symptoms I'm dealing with, I'll be even better. Partially rebuild and get a video card so that Borderlands game, so that newer games don't stutter like crazy. Yeah. Okay, Quartermaster. Oh, you're the new scout. Rahim radioed me about you. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you survive a few days, but here, this is for you. By the tear. way, word the around the tower is leg. you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antizen. By which I mean, the people here don't much like you. But don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. Whole yeah. damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though, and you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also? If you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Do a few favors, they might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep you warm at night. <laughs> uh, the early 2010s. Let's see. 2010. What the fuck uh, is this game? Time. The quartermaster will provide you with free items each day. Make sure to visit him if you run low on supplies. Let's see, we can get a wrench, a lockpick, a medkit, and some metal parts. So let's grab all of these. And Elemental C4 blueprint. Okay. Elemental? What? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah just, just like Dead Island, you can put elemental stuff on your gear here. I mean, it was made by the same people, so it makes sense. Yeah. But yeah, you can pretty much turn your C4 into flaming C4 or electric C4 or acidic C4. Wait. Are you telling me... Outside, yeah? If we want... We can... We can tie a guard dog to a stick and use that? Okay, new guy. Be careful out there. We've lost too many already. Hey, can I borrow your assault rifle? No. All right. Yeah, that would attract them. And they don't need a crowd at the bait at the front door okay, here. Noob. You've got Dr. Zera set up in a semi-trailer on a fenced in plane court. When you leave the tower, hang a left and head due south. You can't miss it. It's Crane, kid. All right, all right. Crane. Just yep. keep moving. There's no time to take in the sight. And try not to make too much noise. Sound attracts those fuckers. Yep. Okay. There we go. Yeah. I think I said this in one of the zombie game streams that in this situation, learning how to use melee weapons once again will be important for sure. You can really enforce with the uh, rifles and all that, but that will attract more. And you'll run out of ammo yeah. before they run out of bodies. And also, guns aren't exactly, like, abundant Doctor? until, like, Hello? the second half Everybody of the there? game. Camden, are you there? Damn it. Uh, so, I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called antizen. Suppresses the symptoms. Here, sit. Antizen as long as I don't postpones the inevitable. eat people, I'm fine. Best the GRE could do. Inevitable? So, th there's no cure? It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right now, but you see, I've been running tests on both antizen and So this is the second time tissue. Techland's made a game where the, the infection is, is a variation on a previous disease. Possible. Oh yep. shit, you really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes. I think so. Uh, now where did I put that injector? 
And who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first broke Also, I just realized apparently out. today is We've Alan Rickman's birthday. We've been collaborating via radio. Okay. Though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit, I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city, hoping some of the infected would eat them so I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? Uh, it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. In any case, all right. I'm quite busy, so on your way now. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. yeah. Keep it fast. Okay. Uh, we hit the 25 minutes, but let's give it a few more minutes. Shot. Okay, great. I thought to hold you for a while, which is good. Starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. So, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. You'll find him near Zeta's truck. He's got the first real job for you. Okay. Does he love it when you have to go? When you think, okay, now I gotta get out, but it turns out you gotta go to a place you just left. Actually, hmm. Now that I actually think about it, I think. I think we did showcase this game yet, but we showcased it for an hour or so back when we did two games at a time instead of four, typically. Yeah. I don't think hmm. I was there. Uh, yeah, yeah I don't think over were a year ago. There. <clears throat> but yeah, this game will get. Uh, this game will get. What is that outlined there on the on the OBS? Okay, don't know what that oh, is. Oh no! That. Oh no! Mm -hmm. Up this time. Oh, yeah, this game will get eventually streamed, either single player or multiplayer. But for now, let's move on to the second game that I have prepared for today, and it's one that I actually haven't played before. So this is going to be completely new. All I know is that it runs with OBS, or that it functions with OBS, and we have to skip some games Good. that uh, have been refusing to work with OBS. One, two, three, one, two. Okay. Uh, I get new headphones. Why, why did it go? Okay. It it just blew up its window to almost full screen in size. So let's just what cut you down. There we go. Uh, yeah, this is Elden Path of the Forgotten Director's Cut. Okay. And Wait, yeah, I uh, I know no, nothing no, no. of this game past this. I want to know this. The word is Swedish. It means the fire. Okay. Our this is not the first game we've used the term Elden, and I, Elden I don't, maybe it means something else in Old English. Hmm. Either way, timer is running. Well, that's no good. Wait. This is why you don't want to read the dark books late at night. You? Okay, I'm a leave. Well, <laughs> that was a quick game over. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, some sort of tendrils from the clouds. Apple, apple and glowing dinner. Okay, we've got a bird following us that seemed to turn blue for a moment there. And okay, you know, that must have been our father, a teacher, or something. Let's see, Temple of Arala Valley. Okay. The, char the character model looks slightly more female, so I'm guessing going on sister maybe. Yeah, the character in the in the trail trailer no. Earlier in the cutscene, I think was a woman. Mm, 
I think they left it a drunkenness to basically put in yourself here that the character is male or female unless we find characters to interact with. Oop. Oh, dying. Uh, okay, we cut down some apples. Oop. Yeah, I'd like it if the game told us a bit about the controls and such. Let's see. Uh, shift doesn't seem to do anything. Right click doesn't seem to do anything. We only have like our attack. No idea what that did. Maybe heal us a bit. It's making that noise. I think it's the bird giving us a bit. Warning! Yay! Oh, that thing is throwing stuff at us. Okay, so I'm guessing this is an isometric Dark Souls of a sort. But is there any... Okay, here are the controls. Roll. And of course everything is set for the controller. Let's see if I can actually activate that. It will still take. And let's see. No. Okay, it does. Okay, so we have an attack, we have a roll. Interact, run. Okay, first spell, second spell. Uh, oh, I see. The, the position is connected to uh, the, yeah, the buttons which uh, on the controller. <laughs> yeah, this is not Elder Ring, but I can see the confusion due to the name. Yeah. So Elder Ring, I'm more confusing for. I wouldn't say the word Elden Ring. I read it as a Swede. It means the fire ring. Okay. Yes. We say Elden Ring. If we want to say it uh, like a Swede. So, yeah, it, it's a game with a name that really puts me to go confused. Like, should I read this as an Englishman or as a Swedish here? Back here. Oh, okay. what's your kid doing, bird? No, let's see. That's the Temple of Aram. Finding someone alive. Oh. Alive ish. Temple Grounds Key. Can we open this up with that? No. Uh, okay, we can open this. There we go. Okay. Right. I would not be surprised if they, whoever made this is this is the first game, but you have to drop on the edge, but it's still bad. It doesn't look bad, but uh, I'm not liking the fact that they didn't give any explanation as to the controls and such. Yeah, that I will agree is a little bit of a squire, probably for getting ten kills. I'll be agree with you there. It, it, that, that's a bit of a minus point. Let's open these from this side. Okay, we don't use up the key. We just use it multiple times. And this is our run speed. Not really much faster. What can we use that shark room for? We have magic in this game. We need to equip it or something. Let's see. Cycle weapons. Wrong button again. Let's we have apples, which we can use to heal up a bit, so quite a bit. We have bombs we can throw, a shark rune that's probably going to be expended if we use it, so let's not. Um, yeah, this, this game is nice looking and all, but it's not really grabbing me at all so far. 
yeah, like, I think it would have been a rude grammy if he actually would give me a bit more tutorial. Like, he just threw us in there. Yeah, obviously something has gone to hell. And it's a director's cut, so I guess it was released a long time ago, perhaps even, and just got to be released uh, and updated. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, don't think the audio is supposed to do that. Uh, yeah. That's blocked. And mm. yeah, as I guess said, it, it did say d the director's cut. So. Is I guess all of it's this. a younger, quote unquote, called classic among some people. Yeah, it's a re I'm guessing this might have been on just consoles and has been re released on PC now. Right. Okay. See you later, uh, you know, Rom. Thank you for being no, I'm here. I'm, I'm still staying. I'm asking what's the name of the game. Oh, oh I, I, I thought you said uh, <laughs> I thought you said you were going. This is Elden, Path of the Forgotten. Uh, but yeah, they've forgotten to give us much direction. So I'm thinking to say a no on this thing because uh, it was released on Switch, uh, PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and Steam, of course. Run. Okay. Yeah, we've got an right. A spell uh, now, it seems. We got one. We got one more. I guess options or something. Whatever. About. I guess the co-op thing. Uh, what is your tolerance towards the uh, '90s era teenage stuff? Um, depends a bit. Yeah, it does a major hit and miss. What about a horror movie? Are you thinking of uh, the Evil Dead game or so? Well, no, actually, well, actually, I was thinking of Evil Dead as well, since it is four-player co-op. But uh, no, there was another game I was thinking of that was more of a reference. I have like the. Um, both of the obscure games that are two player that can be played two player co op via the remote play system that Steam has. Okay. I recently saw a video on obscure, uh, on the first obscure so a bit ago. And I actually knew my father played through it at least once. <clears throat> Amusingly uh, enough, I actually did play the game. I, I had a pirated copy for the PS2. If anybody's gonna say anything, I live in Peru and it was like the early 2010s, so you know that stuff was more common. And, yeah. and I actually got to the final boss and had every character die except for the dude I was supposed to rescue, and then he died at the end. And I pretty much just said, "Fuck it, I quit." Yeah. Okay. Oh. Um, I'm going like a... to say no on uh, El on Elden Path the, For the yeah. Forgotten. <clears throat> um, the thing is, it's not because of, like... I don't think it was difficulty. I was just, like, not carrying enough crap with me because I had, like, absolutely no health items. And yeah. the boss also came with an insta-kill attack, and that didn't help at all. Yeah, from what I, heard, uh, from what I remember of that video... The final boss has two phases, one with an instant death AoE, and in the second yep. phase, you just have to outlast it, whilst it can, well, basically hit you at any time. Yeah, okay. I didn't have any health items for uh, the second half, and for the first half, I pretty much lost everyone to the AoE attack. <clears throat> Alright, moving and... on to the third game. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can put up a list of the games we could try in the future Ooh. Uh, on yeah, the Discord. No. Uh, why is it... Stuttering like sh Okay, not the Bethesda game, but Jesus Christ, I thought the glitches only stopped at Fallout. And 
the elders. Uh, it did not do this before All during right. testing. Yeah, what? what the heck? It's a slideshow. What the shit? Jake, uh, cut I'll, it off. Uh, Try again. I don't have permission. Ah, okay. You know what? Screw it. I'll put a list. Okay, it slows to a crawl the moment that OBS catches hold of it. Um, let me see. Let me disable it for a moment. Uh, yeah, this is something that, that pops up every now and then. That's Yeah, it, it will play nice with OBS normally, but then just goes to shit past that. Okay, let's, let's see if it will do... After this point, though I think anyone who knows Bethesda will recognize this game from the audio alone. I think it is Skyrim? Nope. Oh, and Morrowind. And Slideshow. Of course, this is just lovely. Oh, uh, well, I, I wasn't what? considering this game too much for streaming anyways, because it is a really good game, but it's also a goddamn long game and s slow to get through game because you actually have to move around places. Now, let me just yeah. kill this thing off before it crashes something. Uh, okay, uh, are you playing the, that music separately or is this actually a music part of the game? Uh, there's the mouse. For some reason, it was being hidden. Uh, what did you say? The music. Is that actually part of this game? Yeah. Why is it why is it continuing? Why? I just closed the game. Why does it sound so bloody familiar to the one of uh, Skyrim? Yeah, because it's the same franchise. Yeah. Why is it still making Why are we still hearing it? I closed off the game. Yeah, here's the thing. This melody did not get a lyric until Skyrim, I guess. Just, why the hell are there so many Avast cleanup UI stuff going on? Where are those sub processes? Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing something just got started up and didn't. Uh, what? Okay, it's still running two programs or two eight executables. Okay, just cut those off. Uh, well, I was hoping to sh at least show a bit of gameplay from Morrowind, but apparently it doesn't like OBS after all. Uh, which is odd, because when I was not streaming and testing it with OBS, it played nice perfectly. So, for some reason, it doesn't like either the screen sharing or just being it's... online with this. Yeah, it might be the online, or it might be both. Hmm. Either way. I mean, let's, that is why I install a bunch of backup games. So let's move on to the fourth game that I had prepared for today. Eldritch. Which is a bit of a fitting game, seeing as what we'll be doing again this evening. Is it a second Cthulhu feeling game today? Yep. And let's see. Uh, uh, it's not supposed to put us on there. What? <laughs> uh, yeah, the the modeling is a bit uh, maybe. Uh, I have seen worse. At least they try to be creative with it. I mean, give them some creative points. Let's see. Uh, Elder Ridge Library Borrower Ledger. Okay, I'm guessing this means 1926 and 27 or so, because I very much doubt it's in the future. Uh, let's see, J.K. Pippin, Kim Putnam, Ken Tudson Esquire, Kynan Wales, F.B. Gaynor, and Stuart Jamerson. Okay, we have a mirror over here, which which we can change our own appearance and the... Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll say that very least tried. And I think you can play this game multiplayer. And yeah, the story of this game is told through these books that are scattered around the place. Explorer's Journal, page 2. This library seems to go on forever. I'm no longer certain that there is a way out. It feels as if I'm somehow reliving the same experiences day after day endlessly. 
If I am to find an exit from this madness, I believe it will be through these obscene glowing books. There is unimagin uh, unimaginable power in those pages, and unspeakable horror. It seems that the spirits of ancient deities lie dormant within the books, though I don't know for what reason. But their collective power must be the key to my incarceration in this labyrinth. And yeah, this play, this game is a basically a roguelite with Cthulhu. Yeah, let's see. Glacier Buzz written something. Lodo's yeah. hands uh, can't read the rest. Stiffer than a pole, no sway at all. Oh. And yeah, these give a little tutorial. We have jump, we have sprints, we have crouch, and we can slide if we sp sprint into a slide into a crouch. We can lean. And if the default controls, we can change them. Yeah. And yeah. See the crowds. And we have these things. Artifacts. These extraterrestrial stone carvings are your main resource in this world. You can purchase goods with them or spend them to activate special powers and tools. Okay, we have a mini map in the upper right there. Oh, and Lordy, I can slide. I, I heard of it, someone having tweaks for arms, but... This is ridiculous. We can heal by eating food that we found around the place. And yeah, weapons to objects. Press, <clears throat> press left mouse button to throw a punch, hurl a projectile, or fire a weapon. Press Z. <clears throat> okay, what is up in my throat at the moment? <clears throat> press Z to drop the object in your right hand. You can carry two weapons or objects at a time. Press X to, or mouse wheel to swap between them. But, but, okay. but why was there a huge ham in the library? Yeah, was no. that supposed to be a board? It, who puts a board in a library? Okay. Um, I think I jumped into a special... Uh, yep, yep I, I jumped into some sort of Halloween special mo thing. Uh, Brad. <laughs> And dead. <laughs> yeah, in the upper left are stats. Uh, death. When your health is depleted, you will die. After death, you will be resurrected in the library. Your possessions will be lost, but the artifacts in your bank chest will stay, and any books you have unlocked will remain unlocked. You can also start a new life at any time by selecting Resurrect in the pause menu. Yeah. So, oh, just no. resurrect an asylum. Uh, hello. Let's see, return to library. Leaderboards. Um, okay. Charming. I'll take those. I'll take that. Tripwire gun. Okay. Trip what? No, that's a crossbow. Does that actually do anything? Okay, that causes damage. <laughs> what? Uh, looting. Search corpses for ammo, artifacts, or other items. After being looted, the enemy may respawn somewhere in the level. So, you may not actually want to loot too many bodies. We found a key, so let's open that up. And what have stealth boots? Mother's pair of boots with padded soles. Wearing these boots silences your footsteps. Okay. And a grappling gun. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, now we can be uh, stealthy. Yep. Spikes. I don't think I need to say much about those, especially when they're being stabby like that. And what is... Oop. Oh. Okay, we can only have these two at the moment. What is behind... Let's just... There's something underneath the floor here. Trapped souls. Okay, and uh, the world board, uh, border, it seems. Okay. Uh, another key. Keys are used to unlock doors. Each key can only be used once. Yep. Then we have a revolver. Um, let's pick that up. 
guess. Four bullets. And... Okay, yeah. looks like the grappling thing doesn't use up ammo. I'm feeling they went for a little bit of a retro Minecraft feel with this game. Yep. Yeah. Okay, something killed those. Let's see another trip warrior thing. And we've got a bunch of eyes running around. Ow. Oh. Okay, a key, some Is artifacts. Big, do they look like Yavas? A bit ill. Something isn't happy to see us. And we're out of ammo. More stealth, puts another grappling gun. A bit useless when we already have those. Uh, statues. These enormous stone idols depict some sort of terrible creature never seen on Earth. Praying at the you know, altar imbues you with a special power from the old ones. Okay. What? what? Soul trap power. Aim at a creature and press right to destroy it and trap its soul. Cost 10 artifacts to use. Okay. And now our other hand is glowing to show that we have the power. And let's see. Fountains. Quaffing from a fountain will restore some of your health and extend your maximum health. Fires, you know, fountains dry after being used once. Okay. What the heck is quaffing? Yeah, uh, just taking a big gulp or something. Okay. Uh, there's a trapped soul up there. Can we? As the thought has manifested in this world, as the thoughts will pursue you as long as you remain in the asylum. Move fast to avoid being consumed by its terrible chaos. Oh, Wait. yo, that's that's okay. So that's what that was. Wait, as a... no, 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 no. That that can't be info. If he's awake, that means we're all dead. Yo, big tall boys. Yep, they managed to climb over that somehow. But that I mean, people, it. If I, if I remember, I was surprised, the right? And dead. Problem is, we are alive because he's dreaming. And if he wakes up, the dream dies. Okay. A uh, strange book. Was this book here before? The pages of uh, the book burn, and the acrid smoke stings your eyes. The asylum awaits. Uh, no, let's not go back in there because I don't feel like being chased by a, a not massing not a, a gnashing mob. But yeah, each of these floating books is a level that we can go into. The story of the game, for that you have to go through each of these in turn. And while well, we have an extra one here, was this book here before? The pages of the book flap wildly as an icy wind swirls around you. The mountains of madness await. Oh no. Um Yeah, that's where one of the things I talked to you about yesterday on uh, Guacamele or about Yeah. Or was. As um, obvious this game is using heavily from a uh, <laughs> Cthulhu and such. Yeah, do they? I feel like they did a bit of error with Asasov. Says again, if he awakes, then we are all dead. Okay, let's just get inside. Basically, the goal with this game is to, or with each level, is to go up as far as you can, or in the case of this level, go down. Um. And yeah, big ass penguin. Yeah, there are supposed to be things here, but they're supposed to be albinos without eyes. You know, this one has eyes. Oh. Oh, icicles that dropped from the ceiling. Uh, let's just leave those two to their own devices. Wait. And yeah, each of these are randomly spawned or randomly generated. I just remember, so just they just be penguins that big. Uh, Emperor penguins, I believe. They are. Uh, no, no, no. Look at that size again here. That's taller than you. Yeah. And those penguins here. never got. 
bigger than that. They used to live in Argentina. Okay, hypnotized power. Okay. Uh, well, the penguins are leaving us alone at the moment. Ow. I should keep an eye out for those things. Okay, never mind about them leaving us alone. <laughs> you got killed by a dire penguin. Okay, let's actually go into one of these that we're supposed to. Hmm? Getting killed by a dire penguin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's see. Something quite peculiar has happened to me. I feel the need to record this in the event that I should not return. The last thing I recall, I was examining that curious, curious book in the library, and now I have found myself in a dangerous world full of lurking monsters and treacherous traps. If my research is correct, then I am in, in a lost temple of the ancient god Dagon. A powerful relic is rumored to be kept in the depth, at, uh, depths of this world. Perhaps it holds the key to my escape. Okay, here we have a compass, which is a relic that will show us wherever the exit is and other stuff. On the map, okay. such as a statue. Hey. Hmm? Hang on, I got him. All right. A and we find a shop. Okay, I just posted um, the games, pretty much. That okay. I suggested as co-op. All right. I'll check that later. But yeah, like in any good roguelite, there's of course a store that you can get some stuff. Uh, let's see, what is up this way? Some artifacts. And a rock. Okay. Wouldn't be an adventure game if rocks are coming into play at some point. Now what the fuck is this here? Like some sort of worm thing? Uh, yeah, definitely a worm thing. <laughs> Screaming worm oh, thing. Hey look, you got dynamite. Hey, you know dagger. the difference between dynamite and TNT? Hmm. Um, actually, yeah. what is what is the difference? Dynamite is actually a lot less stable. Okay. So you rather have? Oh, sorry, what? But basically, TNT was made to be a more stable explosive than dynamite, and a lot of people just confuse both of them because of. They kind of look the same. Yeah. Roots, which doesn't extend our health. Well, they did give them the same wrapping, so to speak. More or less. Good. But yeah, TNT was made to be a lot more of a stable explosive, less likely to blow up by accident. Yeah. They're both of extremely dangerous if they get very old. Unstable explosives are nothing to laugh about. Yeah. yeah. So they can go off at any moment at the slightest provocation. Yeah, especially the older they get. Like, if I remember right, both can actually quote unquote sweat nitroglycerin. Yeah, there is a component in them. Yeah, wait, uh, we I got hmm? wait, I got one more uh co-op game. Alright. Seconds. Uh, so basically if you see a very old box with dynamite OTNT in it, don't approach it and don't pick it up. For accidentally for just accidentally bumping into it or something could be enough to make it explode. Yeah. Something walking nearby. But yeah. It's a good idea to pick up pistols when you find them, even if you're not using one, since you'll at least take the bullets out of it. Let's see. There, now we have 11 bullets. I have managed to beat this game at one point, but I think that was mostly out of luck since I got a power. Whilst I had a fuck ton of, uh, <clears throat> whilst I had a fuck ton of artifacts, it basically let me skip everything. But I forget what it was exactly. All right. Somebody made an um, somebody made uh, a G three, but but had the receiver replaced with that of an AK. 
so that's just weird. Okay. Let's see, there's some health in there. But of course, with like with any roguelike, the deeper and further in you get, the tougher and rarer, you know, the tougher things get and the rarer supplies will become. Because we are finding a lot of pistols laying around and a lot of knives. That's, yeah, we're not eating that. It's literally named Toxic Fruit. Let's see. Don't know if something happens if we hang around too long here. That's a shop or something. And, yeah, deep ones here are very hoppy. And, yeah, this is, <clears throat> it is a shop. Uh, let's see, we have... It's shopping. Each shop has a selection of valuable gear available for purchase. If you cannot afford the price, you, you can try to steal an item, but it will make the shopkeep angry. Yeah. Yeah, don't do that. Okay. Conjurer's Talisman reduces the artifact cost to use special powers. Okay. For 25 artifacts, we have 21. Uh, some revolvers, a bottle to throw, and dress boots. While wearing these boots, you will earn twice as many artifacts. Okay. And we have jump boots, which lets us jump higher. <laughs> okay. Would be very useful in a platformer like this. Let's actually get those. A ragged pair of boots with springs mounted in its soles. Wearing these boots lets you jump higher than that one. Yeah. Boing. <laughs> okay. Oh, dear. Oh, right. I got... A couple more games for the co-op. I really gotta remember which games I have. I don't at some point. Now you can sort by co-op uh, function on the Steam and such. So why do the worms la sound like monkeys? I think this. Who's the? I, I just forgot what the names are. Okay. Exit is that way. We have some explosives as we get to a dead end. Give me that. Have another shop. Uh, wing speed boots. Okay. I'm guessing we can only have one type of boots. So let's not put a let's not sell our jump boots yet. Uh, uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Um, him? What the mm. hounds on. Oh, uh, I never pronounced this. Hounds on Tantalos? Uh, what? Is this is a the house of Tantalos or something? Uh, hounds! Uh, not sure if those are in this game or not. Like I said, I have beaten it once, but mostly by managing to rush through everything. Yeah. Basically, it's a lot crafting creature, and the hound is only a vague description of them, so they are not actual canines. Oop. Oh, uh, bad, bad. And they usually hunt people that uh, travel between dementia, such just like you do at the moment. Uh, I think that's a showgoff. Yep. So let's just grab this. You clutch this strange blue orb. It hums in response to your touch and vibrates as if trying to shake itself free. As your fingers tighten around it, you are struck with a sudden and unbidden insight. That within this unearthly sphere, the soul of the ancient deity Dagon is beginning to wake. The vision drifts through your mind like a long-forgotten memory of mortal fear. Unchecked destruction, and then a clandestine ritual and an easy peace. The vision fades, giving way to a sick feeling of emptiness. The soul of Dagon stirs in the silence. You will now unlock, un unlock the next book in the library, and let's go do that before that thing gets close. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Uh, this book is bound by the Unseen Force. An inscription on its cover reads... <clears throat> okay, I just don't know what is up in my throat today. This place is not a place of honor. A terrible power is contained within this volume. It has been sealed by the soul of Nyarlathotep. No, 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 no,
Nej, det är lågt. Blog är inte rätt strukt att säga det. Nyar, let's go ahead. Let's see. You raise the soul of Dagon before the sealed book. The sphere pushes against your fingers, palpably struggling to reach the leathery surface. A distant wind begins to howl as the encapsulated soul rages in your hands. As Dagon's fury intensifies, the force holding the book falters. A deafening crack splits the room as the seal is broken and the soul of Dagon becomes still and silent once again. The book falls open, revealing dusty pages covered in Eldred's glyphs. A nameless dread fills you. The next world awaits. Okay. Oh dear. And yeah, basically the the goal is to get through all three books, and then there's another one after that. And well, we have these extra th ones as well. Uh, wait, there's an actual exit here. Or well, there it is, but we can't get to it. And yeah, our basically our goal is to find out what the hell happened and uh, survive it. So it seems. I thought there were more of those. Oops. I thought there were more of those uh, journals left around, but apparently not. Getting traps added into here. But yeah, this is a nice little game. I. Ooh. Require. Um, but I don't know if it's really much for streaming, since a lot of it is uh, randomization and such. Yeah, it's more of... I guess the other stream is just... It's not a game we kind of give you would stream, really. Okay, we... Yep. Ow. A single bullet from that. Uh... Artifacts. We have a bunch of keys. And oh, we are just died on one of his own traps. A flintlock. Cash box. I'm looking for that. Yep. Yeah, you can see how things can get chaotic. And let's open this. Grab these. And let's just sw yes, switch to a pistol for a moment. How long do we have on the timer? Did I'm pretty sure I started it. Okay, a minute and a half about. But yeah, I think the I think the goal and the concept of this game is easy enough to see. Just get through randomized levels. Yep, and don't die like that. <laughs> okay, I'll put this as a maybe. Yeah, okay. and I hesitant maybe. Because okay, so we can check our gear here. So the like yeah. is, how much do we need to base on luck to finish it? Yeah. Like, we got through that first one real quick. And let's see. And yeah, there isn't really much story. There is a little bit, but it's only at the start and end, it seems. Okay, so let's move on to the next game, which... Yeah, I want to stream at some point, for sure, but let's show it off first. All right. <laughs> Made with Unreal. There. I can only guess. Unreal. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, my game is a bit dangerous. Slave that is to the web. Yep. And this is a pretty fun game from 2010 with a 2013 PC release or something. I I can never really guess with the trademarks at the bottom like that. And uh, yeah, this is a game I've also played before and really liked. But let's start up a new journey on... Never heard of this one. Yeah, you may have heard of uh, the story of Wukong, Journey to the East. Yeah, I know the mythical story. Yes, I don't even know. Never heard of this game. Yeah, this well, is the... really loosely based on that. Okay. Yeah. So, let's start it then. Uh, this is where we set your last checkpoint. Yes, and start the timer. Yep. 
Sector 1 Welcome will escape. Welcome to Slave Ship 909, en route to Pyramid. You have been assessed, and any injuries sustained during your capture have been designated as non-life-threatening. Remaining journey time is estimated at 16 hours. If you are experiencing severe nausea or need to relieve yourself, take a great position beneath your feet. <laughs> Free from the random hazards of the wild. Compliance will be rewarded with safety and sustenance. I imagine the ship isn't supposed to look like it's 80% rust. Yep. Now I have to look for turning on the subtitles. To a great start of this place is already falling apart. Options, display, motion, audio, yes, subtitles. Sometimes they're under audio, sometimes they're under other options. It's a bit annoying. Well, they're screwed. <laughs> Great, now the ship is going to actively be trying to kill us as well. <laughs> oh dear gods. Also, this game looks good. Yep. It, it looks like it aged well. Get up that. Uh, Alert. Hull breach. Alert. Hull breach. There we go. Just keep chasing after the girl who started all of this. Clamber over the yeah, pipes and such. There. 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 How long is this thing? Where are you going? Let's get off this thing! Well, that's no good. Definitely Wilhelm scream. Here it glows. Yeah. This is a game where we have a bit of a parkour like this. There and here and yeah. How, how is all of this still in the air? Integrated slaves report to escape pods. Escape pods. Yep. <laughs> Everyone else waits for the command while the place is falling apart. Uh, yeah, no. How far up are we? And what the heck are we on? Yeah, some sort of slave carrier. Yeah, a... Some form of sky ship, but... Uh, 
Um, we can't fight this thing. Gotta get my weapons back. Where's my stuff? What? The stuff. Where's my gear? Stuff you took away from me. I can't talk to you. It's against the rules. Item storage in the lower hall. This is obviously not a very right. nice world. At least I can get my gear back. Yeah, easy guess who this character is based off of. The donkey. Wait. Okay. For love. Let's do it. The monkey king. No. Yep. Uh, okay. And I'm Lim Hill. Now we can actually fight back Here against this thing. Come on. Because now we have a shield. And an actual weapon. Uh, if it will respond, yeah. And there's a bunch more of these. Three, two, one. Okay, no jinx. There's jinx. Left shift to block. Yeah, we have quick and oh, heavy attacks. Oh, uh, why is mouse showing during all? Of this? Yep, <laughs> that works as well. Just jump over their asses. Uh, don't challenge them. And space for right attack. Okay, don't remember that. White attacks knocks on his way, but deal no damage. Okay, but and leave him vulnerable. Okay, good crowd control then. Yeah. Uh, hold for stun charge. It's a blo block breaker. Okay, let's get off this shithole. <laughs> like it's missing half of its length. Already, uh, damn it. Hey! Hey! Open the door! You mother! She can't hear you through that dumbass. It's probably as thick as your skull. <laughs> Sky ship of a curious design. Now what? Now we climb. Yeah. I'm getting curious to stream this. There. Technically, we would we should be getting blown away now just by the the sheer speed of the air. Oh, oh come on! Oop. 
Okay, I, I forgot to put in... The, the game is running through DX window, so but I forgot to put in the measure that keeps the mouse trapped to the window. Oh, okay. Wait, DX window? You need yeah, a, it's approved? Same There's one I was using for Emperor's Tomb. It's that audio that you need one? Uh, it, it doesn't. It's not. That, it's not that it's that old. It's, it doesn't want to work with uh, windowed mode without it. And oh, windowed okay. mode uh, causes the least interference with OBS. And we've seen it before that some games, when they run in full screen, that they, uh, yeah, that they cause the widescreen effects with Discord screen share. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's not. Uh, yeah, <laughs> let's not get toasty. Uh, okay, a bit roasted maybe, but not toasty. Yeah. Sorry about that. Definitely going down now because that was the last bloody engine, it seems. Hey, welcome uh, to New York. How many years in the future? Too many. Get out of the ape. That many. Was, th was that a pardon? No, yeah. not really. Oh, that was a pawn, because this is the Monkey King. Oh, I just realized that, but no, it wasn't. I just sort of remembered that. I don't know, the ape takes place in a really long future Earth. And the game stopped in the back. Yeah, the, the mouse escaped again. One shot remaining. Uh, this way... there. Warning. Impact in 10 seconds. We at Rust Bucket Air we hope you enjoyed your flights. I guess I'll... I think we can guess where we are. Yeah. I 
gets ripped open. It's the headband. <clears throat> what? The slave headband. The one I fit on you. You put this on me. Let me explain. Get this thing off, or I'm gonna rip your head off. No. No? You think I'm screwing with you? Yes! You man, stop! <laughs> Come here, move away from me! Oh. What the hell are you doing? I hacked a slave headband. So it could be activated by my voice commands. Activation triggers a systemic pain response. That's what controls the slaves. I'm not gonna kill you. You can't. My heart stops beating for any reason. The headband will discharge a lethal dose. If I die, you die. Oh. <sighs> Why? I need your help. I come from a wind farmer community. It's about 300 miles from here. I'll never make it on my own. If slavers don't get me a mech's will, that's the deal. Get me back to my home, and you can go back to yours. Looks like I don't have a choice. Neither of us do. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's go. And yeah, now we are Command. enslaved. Oh dear. I think this game has aged well, though. I do know there's some. What the hell is all this stuff I can see? Shady issue. I give you visual feedback. It's patched into your shield system and my biometrics. And your voice. It's like it's, it's inside my goddamn head. It is. We have a continuous audio link now. Great. You got pretty beat up when we landed. Health packs. There you go. That's much better. If, if the game would stay collect selected. Who are all these people? Must have been some kind of gathering point. Is this the way out? Uh, yeah. This must be a drawbridge. Must be to keep Max out. Evacuation zone. There are some zone. controls here. The other side is blocked. Can you get around and clear it? So yeah, th this game is a combination of a uh, platformer and brawl action brawler. What was that? Max, keep your voice down. They could be close. What are we gonna do? Not make too much noise. I'll definitely have to remember to put that thing that uh, keeps the mouse trapped on a, a standard thing with these things now. Keep out of the way. Let me deal with this. Let me plot that other end up. And yeah, I think you can guess what kind of apocalypse this world had. Oh dear. Was there its own robots or something else? Okay. It's all clear. Get over here. Coming. Okay, I saw something in the upper right there. I think it carried over 
experience points or something from my first playthrough of this game. We could get out through here. That could be Maybe useful. This... And yeah, we're not monkeying around with our strength here. That. Yeah, I really like this game, and we will eventually stream this, I'll say that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to streaming this. Uh, I don't feel sorry for uh, Monkey here. Like, I feel like she could have a better method of asking for help. Yeah, this isn't really a nice world, so... And she didn't actually get to hear anything of what we were saying, so far she knows... He's just another brute that would kill her for nothing. And yeah, welcome to Grand Central Station. To get you home as fast as possible so that you can take this thing off my head and I can break your neck. I meant... Yeah, I know what you meant. See that smoke over there? That's where the slave ship came down. First thing we're gonna do is head for that. Hope my ride survived the crash. What's your ride? Uh, it's the only way I know how to hmm. cover 300 miles. All right, hang on. I gotta go by bread. Two wheels That's not really an, engine. an excuse. I really do have to go by bread. We don't have any. And breakfast time. There so, you guys have fun. There. Good luck. More. And uh, since I put up that list, uh, actually, funny thing is, uh, Hexa said that they were up for like Zombie Army, World War C, Halo Reach, or Payday 2. So we got a fourth, we got, so if Liz does have those games as well, we might be able to pull up a four player thing. Or at least okay. those. Games. And otherwise, Anyways, I can buy uh, it for them at the sale. <clears throat> Otherwise. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, you guys have fun. Good luck with the Monkey King tail and uh, robot. Why the fuck not? Yeah. And I'm gonna go by. See you guys later. Also, See duck, you idiot. You're kind of the reason he's still alive. <laughs> uh, thank you for being here, Rom. See you next time. Yeah. See you guys later. Back, okay? Be safe, Rom. No, 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 hey, you too, Drake here. Do as I say. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, we have our shield so we can get up close. As long as we don't stay exposed for too long. Yep, clicked out of the game again. It does give a few... It, yeah, I, I like these finishing touches. And yeah, they're up in the upper right. Eighth, what, what, what was it? 184,000 red points. Either way. There we go. Now, it has been talking about focus attack, but I don't think it's given us a tutorial on that. Blue means they're blocking, so we stun them. Yellow is vulnerable, red is attacking. Okay, that's that. If we're gonna get through this, then when I ask you to do something, you need to do it immediately. Okay. I understand. Yeah, she's very clearly not been out as much. And yeah, the, the, <clears throat> the timer went off. But let's go a little bit longer. Let's see. Let's go. Well. Okay. Yeah, mm. we, we don't, I don't think we have time for another game at this point. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we could. We could go a little bit over time if we call it 
on you know, this one because we are going to do this. We are going to stream this one. I, I really like this game. I like its techno tribal aesthetic as well. Yeah, and, and that, that's something I could see happen. I'd, I'd call this game a sort of predecessor to uh, Horizon. Mm. Hmm, I think you can see what you mean. Okay. So let's call it on this one. I would have liked to continue a bit, but I do want to... I'm curious about this next one. Game number seven that I had prepared. Let's see. One, two, three, five, four. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. And oh, no, this is game number six. Okay. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> and this is why I do put in extras. Because of some, if something manages to screw up. Okay. Let's start the controller. And I, I want to stream the Horizon games at some point as well. Mm. Also, I really like the voice actor for Monkey in that uh, in uh, Enslaved, and that is actually the name that he goes by, Monkey. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I, I recognize the voice actor. Yeah, apparently I... there's they they've also played in uh, some. In some Batman shows, as Alfred, and in Star Wars, they were Snoke, the uh, totally not uh, imposter Palpatine that was in like the first two of the last uh, trilogy. Okay. Yeah. So nice to see they are still active. Either way, this is Etherborn, and I know nothing about this game either. So, let me start the timer. Can you hear me? Doubt. Destroy. Contemplate. Fall silent. Build. Um. Listen at last to what has always existed and was never there, and seek until your last breath the impossible pathway. Look for me. I'll show you how. I'll show you why. Follow my me? voice. Yeah, I have literally no idea what this game is. Right, I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be a platformer of sorts? Hmm. Like, a lot of the games are generally platformers. I believe they are the most common genre or so. And I'm... Hmm. Okay, I'm getting a bit of a journey vibe so far. Let's see, we can move the camera, but not as... We can move its angle, but then its position. Okay. Are we on the water? Uh, I don't think we're underwater, I think we're on it. There we go. We can get a bit of height, but not much distance on these jumps. Okay. Uh, don't think we can jump that. But we can walk it. Okay. What? That? Gravity what? be damned. What is the background? Are those teeth or rocks? What is that there? Oh, more of those plants. Or mushrooms? What the... Oh! Oh, I see. It's gonna be one of those games, ain't it? Yep, a bit of a pl uh, puzzle platformer. What is... uh, no, 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 it's gonna be one of those very tripping games. Okay, we've got a key. So yeah, big journey vibes. Oh, even more trippy. What? What are you talking about? What journey? Uh, <laughs> That's uh, that game. We we did it on a showcase with all the sand and such and the cloaked traveler. 
pretty sure oh. we got to the end of it in one go. All right. Almost forgot. And what the heck? What has never been. That which aches your entrails is now tearing the earth, cracking the pavement, and spreading its roots like shadows over everything there is that nobody wants to acknowledge. Not unlike the harsh woods, it rips apart the eyes of those who dare to look at it and shows more paths than you could ever walk. So an evil Yggdrasil? This is its definition. An unfathomable threat, and nevertheless, a freedom of will brought to you, who struggle to be, but aren't. Okay. I need to check when this came out, because, yeah, I, I get the feeling a lot of inspiration from Journey might have been taken. It, the game looks really good so far, and I don't think we have entrails. <laughs> well, we have some organs. Now, is this tree just giant, or are we just, just tiny? Everything you see, all the angst you feel has always been there. It's been, along with you and all of us, hidden from our senses as an incomprehensible event, nonetheless bound into our skin. What is this here? It shows a bridge? And we died. <laughs> Gee, different worlds. Take a quick check here. Uh, controls. I think I yeah there. Let's let's turn that to default run, so I don't have to keep the button pressed all the time. Yeah, I saw that whilst I was setting things up for this. Okay, two keys or two <clears throat> two places to put these. One so far. Where is the other then? See the other on the other side. Oh no, it's on the. Okay, can we retrieve this one? Otherwise, we're kind of stuck. Yes, we can. Okay. <clears throat> open up the gates. Not the gate. Open, put in the bridge, and then we can get that one, and come back for this one. So we'll have to. Yeah, we'll have to mess with gravity a bit, or re rather, our perception of gravity. Yep. There. And then we go back across on the side of the bridge. <laughs> okay. And we can use the archway to return to normal. Okay. I'm liking this so far. And the way forward appears. Hmm. I'm curious. I'm curious what sort of shenaniganery they'll get to you with this gravity effect. I, I hope they'll expand a bit on it than just being on different, uh, yeah, directions with it. He's so confused. Let me grab that. Uh, let's see. Anything else this way? There is 
that. That's way out of our reach. There's a platform above us, though, so if we can get to that, we can jump down. And that's over there, needs two. We have one that goes here. Okay, can I jump to that? Can't reach it, it seems. Let's see, there's one there. Okay, I <laughs> went a bit wrong there, it seems. to be on that. We need a second one to get across here. Or Can we actually make this? Yes, we can. Okay. Um, can we drop down like this? Luckily, there's no fall damage. And we have our second one. Now we just need to get back to a different angle. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, how do we return to the normal stance from this? Yeah, this works, yeah. <laughs> I'm just being silly. Uh, let's see. Is there anywhere else we can get onto a different surface? I'm going to need to get to that somehow. Okay, get back to here, then we use that ramp or slope to get back like this. Okay, too fast. There. Okay, then we can jump across here. Put this one in place, retrieve the other one, jump across and put them both in the other spot. Okay, that's going to open up a bridge to the other side. Oh, no, it's just going to move that up entirely. Okay. Um. Now we can, okay, now we can grab this one. We don't need to jump down. Okay, I'm guessing um, we're, I'm guessing what we want with this is to raise this up so we can get to that other area. Wait. Yep, raise it up even further. And then we can continue on like this. Uh, okay, we need to be on a different angle. How do we get on actually easy enough up for here? Just fall down and continue on. Okay, this game certainly has me curious so far. Yeah, if. Uh, I, I think I have, I I have way too many questions. Okay, greenhouse of sorts. Yeah, like, what the hell is going on? What are we and where are we? Like, I I'm guessing that tree is some sort of Yggdrasil, only a corrupted or evil version. Oh, hello. One, two, where is number three? I don't think we can pull out... A ah, there you are. Uh, it's at the wrong angle. Let's see. 
Where can we change angle then? We have this here. Okay, and then we just go like this. And there we go. Uh, and we can get back out. Okay, it's, it's a simple little puzzle platformer. Doubt we can make this jump here. Yep. Okay. I'm guessing you're leaning towards a no on this because you're just being kerfuffled by it. Yeah, and also. Yeah, I also don't think it's, it's really my kind of game even. Like, it, it is pretty and all, but... Oh, bloody heck, my... Yeah, my brain doesn't handle this one well. Okay, um... Can we jump anywhere from here? Mm, we can walk up here, but then we'd fall right off. We jump from here, we'll just fall back down to somewhere else. We can't reach far enough for that. Here's a, a weird thing. This is someone makes me sleepy. It... What the heck? Yeah, I think this is supposed to be a just a relaxing little platform in the same style as like a journey. Yeah, but was it meant to make you f feel sleepy? Hmm. Well, it does mean that you are feeling relaxed. Or it is somewhat working like that. Yeah, the, the music is relaxing. And the environment looks calm, but also weird. Okay. Back to the tree. A long time ago, when humankind wasn't even the spark of what it was to become, the universe ruthlessly took the human being by the neck, dragged them to an abyss, and cast them down, without any warning, amidst Rude. fire, stone, and water. Their naked and convalescent bodies shook among sharp rocks, only sheltered by cold and mist. The sky arose magnificently above them, and with every abrupt thunder they became more aware of their fragile physique. Every gust of wind warned them that their bones could be reduced to ashes, if the sky decided so. What then, are you? horrified by everything and by the nothingness, humans gazed upon what they'd be, what they weren't, and what they could never become. Okay, a new path has opened up. And one branch has been severed. Or one tendril. Is this is this actually Yggdrasil but it's being infected by something or some Hmm. There are many Yggdrasil is not the only Three in mythologies and all that. True, but it is the most known one. It would be interesting if they had yeah, to see more mythical trees show up in uh, <clears throat> in games and such. Oh yeah. This extra Yggdrasil gets a bit overused. Yeah. I'm guessing we're some sort of ethereal uh, gardener trimming the bad branches off of this tree. That looks well, a lot more sea like. The game is called Eaterborn, so. Okay. 
Let's see, we have sludge and such around here. Corruption. I think I'll at the very least continue this on my own time. Let's not step in that. Okay. Yeah, is this supposed to be industrial waste or such? not fall down that way. There we go. Okay, so if we even if we jump over those curves, we will still change gravity. Hmm. Yeah, this pole with this class and such has me thinking that's a bit of a shout out to a uh, journey. Since there were a lot of poles with red cloth and such. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, nice little game, but not much for commentary. Other yeah, than like, uh, describing what we are doing and such. Yeah, like, sure, we, we, we are not getting interrupted by saying uh, talking too much. Problem is, there's so much going on, making me just, huh? Ooh. Careful. Um, let's see, how do we get off of this right without falling into the abyss? That's where we just came from. We need up ah, here. Okay. Then we can go here. What is this? Just another block. Oh, hey there, trucker. Thine burn of the insomnia unites us. <laughs> okay. What? Oh, there's another slope there. Uh, yo. <laughs> uh, welcome to probably the end of the stream because we are we are past our typical two hours so we're just letting the timer on this game run out and yeah this is etherborn a uh, bit of a psychedelic gravity manipulation puzzle platformer hmm. can I get somewhere safe without that? Okay, just <laughs> that confirms it. We burn up in the acid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Someone is really sleepy from the looks of their remotes and such. Oh wait, this way. And yeah, there is one more of these things somewhere around here. Where is it? Oh, actually, we have two of them. So we. Okay, that forms a bridge. Yeah, how are you doing, trucker? Other than sleepy. There we go. Up here. Get that. Now, what can we do with another of these? Let's see. And yet another here. Whoever designed this must have put in a lot of work to think all of this through. Yeah. Just, you have to literally think on all angles. Yeah, I, that, that's probably why I, I know what I'm liking it for. I feel like I'm... My brain br goes to a halt from uh, it's just too much. <laughs> okay. There, and then we can return. Uh, usually, I'm trying to keep out to see if there's a clue or something to do to help you with and all that. 
while also commenting, but here I just go... Yeah, I got yeah it. my brain just, uh, just say, nope, don't even bother. Yep, and there's the exit. Okay, that'll make for a good cutoff point. Let's see, big trucker, more work, cancellations. Yeah, that's always going to suck when you're traveling for little days. Unable to fathom everything there was, humanity began to name everything they feared. They mastered the sky, the earth, and the entire world. Still in fear, they tied up what nobody else was able to see. They put it in order and enclosed it inside a concept, regardless of its endless nature. And thanks to that, what threatened to crush them submitted to their ego and was reduced, without thinking about it, to language. And then, carried away by a candle glow, humans forgot that their footprints were, after all, no more than what a single raindrop is compared to the sea. I'm trying to guess at where it's trying to go with all this philosophical stuff. Hmm. Let's see, I did get a haircut, so I no longer look like your avatar with a bushy beard. <laughs> okay, just call me out like that. Uh, but he does need a bushy beard. <laughs> Alright. Nice little game, but... Uh, actually, now that I look at this, yeah, the nervous system that is shown on their character here, it's looking like a tree as well. Yeah. Okay, what nice little heck? design. I'll, I'll try this further on my own, but I guess not for streaming, because we'd, pro we'd both just be going, like, what the hell is going on with all of this and such. Yeah, like, it might be a little bit too much for us. Okay. In a weird way. So for now, let's head on over here. Uh, I, there we go. I don't get why the stream deck is just so slow at times. But, yeah. Going over the games, Dying Light, that's a definite yes. We'll see if we'll do that partially multiplayer or, or just completely single player. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Uh, trucker, when my beard reaches two inches, then I need the beard, Oriel. <laughs> All right. I haven't used my beard only in a while. Uh, Elden, Past and Forgotten. It looks interesting, but I'm just stuck questioning of what and why and such so hmm. yeah it, it might be a good to look into it a little research before say yes or no in it but it's leaning no at least until further research uh, yeah hmm. yeah i i guess the closest comparison i can think of at the moment is some sort of elden ring demake or something or whatever it's it looks interesting, but it's not really grabbing me because, yeah, it's it's just a a, a pixel art two D brawler, and not mm, not too nice of a and not a too nice looking one. Like a lot of there's a lot of pixel games these days, and they all just really look the same because they have a certain they lack a certain uh, detail level to them. Yeah, but I mean, it was that look damn gorgeous. Yeah. Uh. Then we, well, we tried to get more wind to play nice, but apparently it doesn't want to. Uh, but even beyond that, I don't think I would stream more wind. Not because it's a bad game, but or because it's an old game, but because it would just take so freaking long. Because one thing that more, is with more wind that was basically ended from Oblivion on is that they didn't just put quest markers wherever you needed to go or such. They actually just gave you directions or just a vague area to go look for and yeah then you just have to go find it yourself which is a lot more immersive uh, but with the standard character speeds yeah that would take for freaking ever yeah and from what i heard here morrowind story is considered to be among the best in the series it's just that its gameplay does not match up at all <laughs> Like the combat, even if you uh, even if you quote unquote hit the target, it's still a role as to whether you actually do damage or not. So 
there's just a lot of jank. It's still a really good game for its time, but not so much for these days. Gotcha. <clears throat> I'll take uh, deep for it. Then we have Eldritch, which I'll put as a maybe. Uh, we'd probably be done with it in like one or two streams, and even then most of the progress with it would be basically luck-based. And yeah, enslaved, a definite yes. We'll need we'll just need to find it a spot like the dozens of other games that we want to stream eventually. And Etherborn, mm, nah. Yeah, like I think I think I know, know what's usually it. It's a bit too deep. They were too vague. Like with Journey, we we had a solid goal. We had we had to get to the top of the mountain. Uh, with here, we we just have no freaking clue what we're doing. Yeah, and then they, like, I feel like it even brings us into extreme, like, we do go, we do some that go deep on things and such, but this one will just go a little bit too deep, where we basically will not be able to provide anything. Like, it's a, it would be things that might go over our heads. Yeah, most definitely go over our heads, likely. <clears throat> so... In a way, it looks like a fun game. Probably, I feel like we we may not be able to do it a uh, proper service. Yeah. Okay. For now, though, before we go end the stream, we're going to look for someone to raid. So I already changed this, the <clears throat> the screen share to Twitch, and let's have a look who are on. We have Live Crow who is playing Rust. Uh, let me triple check that the place is muted so we can take a peek. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Rust is not really a type of game I think I would ever get into much because you'd be const the servers constantly get reset, so you have to start from basic every time. Uh, a lot oh. of people enjoy that sort of stuff because it is a competitive game, a competitive survival game. But I don't think I'd be I I tend to take my time with building stuff and such. Yeah, it's hmm. same. So that does not sound like a good game for me at all. Next up, we have Redacted Cat, who is on their pre-stream. They'll be playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Omega. Okay. Then we have... The two-year stream anniversary. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I always get a little bit jealous when I see people uh, who have been doing this at the same you know, amount of time, but I've seen a lot more success. But I, I want to do this at my own pace. I'm not going to... Uh, I, it make, makes me a bit jealous, but I'd still uh, appreciate what the, you know, they have got. But a lot of them just put in also a lot more work than I do. Is I'll fully admit, I'm often just a lazy bastard. And I do this mostly for the fun of it. Yeah, and if all the people enjoy us, that's just good. Yeah. Let's see. Jimmy McGinger is doing software and gaming development again. It looks like they're typing code and such. Then we have I'm Nice, who is streaming Monster Hunter Worlds. Broadcast is still streaming Jedi Survivor. Uh, Sour Wolves is streaming Just Act Natural. Okay, I, I'd heard of this game through a YouTuber called Smithy, I believe it was. It's a basically, uh, it's one of those party games where you basically have to <laughs> be, the, be uh, a bit deceitful. But like a bunch of characters. Uh, think prop hunt, but uh, with models instead. I think there is a game mode of, in Gmod like that as well, but I don't remember it at the moment. I haven't seen it played in a long as while. Well. Oh dear. Next up, we have Schwalbe1728, who is streaming King of the Castle. Okay. Uh, WP, uh, WBPL76 is streaming Mass Effect Legendary Edition again. It looks like they're doing campaign. Uh, Kirinats Yoko is streaming Hogs of War. Been a bit since he's done that. It looks like a... Yeah, I really don't know what this game is. It's, it looks like some sort of PlayStation or N64 game, but I've never heard of one like this. Maybe it's a yeah, it style more than the... Yeah, <laughs> okay, I don't know. It's sliding. I don't know if it's supposed to look retro or if it's retro. Yeah. And also, it, the name is definitely a part of Dogs of War. Yeah, because all the any because all the characters are hogs. <laughs> yeah, they just changed one letter. 
Uh, next up, we have K9, who is streaming Warframe. It looks like they're running, doing some corrupted runs or something. And last but not least, we have Horatius the Dwarf, who is just chatting at the moment. Okay, who of those would you say to raids? I'm unsure at this point. Okay. Um, shall we look at recommended, or shall I pick one? Uh, I'll let you pick one. Okay, I'm thinking we go give Nice uh, a visit then. Been a bit since we raided them, I think. Not that I'm keeping track, or not that I have the memory to keep track. So, slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Trucker and uh, <clears throat> Glacier Boy, for uh, showing up and chatting along a bit. Also, again, thanks to Ram. I uh, hope he's having a good day. And yeah, he is eight hours uh, away from where we are. So yeah, with us, evening is about to start. With him, the day is just getting started. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, uh, thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And with that, I'll start up the raids. Later today, in about two and a half hours after dinner, I'll... Uh, <clears throat> I'll be stream doing an extra stream of Dredge. And after that, we'll be caught up to where I got originally, or we should be catching up to where I was originally with it. And uh, yeah, that'll be interesting to see what happens from there. Interesting and probably yeah. terrifying. Yeah, I'm so I'm hyped for that one. Okay. So uh, bit of a stretch. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and uh, have a nice day. <laughs> watch out for Shogoths. Oh, yeah, watch out for Shogoths. Bloody hell, always watch out for them. <laughs> <laughs>